Hello guys and welcome to episode 3 of my Corellia campaign in Still Division 2 playing on the Axis side. Previously uh, we made a couple of counterattacks and now I just need to finish off moving the forces on the right hand side here. Then we can move on to the next turn. I'm probably going to make a quick attack here against the fortified region though. But let's see what there is to move. I believe most of the stuff to the left side was already moved. I can actually move up this AA a little bit, so I might do that. That will help out these dug-in units. There's uh, another few units in here, like this Pioneer Battalion. Although, I think the Pioneer Battalion can probably just go up the road with the rest of these guys. And I'm going to need way more forces down here to help break through. Because they're all bunched up here, outside Viborg. But there's actually not really much on the right flank. So if I can break through here and start cutting all of this off, it's going to be really good. Like, really, really good. So that's kind of the plan um, going into this. The 3rd Division HQ does have some AA and stuff, but I'm going to move that to the right. I can move pretty fast down roads, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Anything else that I missed? I mean, there are a few units in here which have three action points, but they're mostly artillery, so we'll leave that be. Uh, those units up there we already moved. Those are our planes. The third Army Corps HQ. That can zoom down here. Okay. And this one, the second Division HQ. I'm going to have come join these forces and their breakthrough. Cool. Right, this unit can move up a little bit. Perfect. These units, they might as well all move down. I don't think we're going to really push through here anytime soon, so uh, let's just move down and go from there. I can keep the artillery here, though. That can probably bombard. I could bombard this and never have to fight it. I think uh, somebody mentioned in the comments actually about how on the left hand side here if I uh, use bombardment on the 185th then I technically never have to defend this as well which I'm probably going to do. It definitely speeds up the campaign a lot if I don't have to like make these defensive battles all the time and they can get quite repetitive so that's probably a good shout. We just keep them bombarded there, make sure they can never come over and uh, that'll be job done. I might go ahead and start moving up this AA a little bit more though uh, because if I can cut them off from attacking other areas that might work although I think the aircraft are here somewhere so that probably won't make much of a difference oh they're here never mind uh we might be able to actually get to that airfield relatively quickly and destroy those aircraft that would be nice be really nice okay anyway uh let's get back to moving these forces and getting distracted uh we'll have the infantry most of this infantry just head down. I don't need this much here. And I'm going to bombard this unit and this unit. And this can move down. These artillery pieces can move down. And I guess we just go from there. These guys actually get four action points. That's really nice. Cool. So that's most of those moves. Let's uh, see what we want to do here. I'm probably going to make an attack. Maybe make two attacks, like two separate attacks. I can attack this one. Or I can attack this one. Uh, can I attack this one? I can. So what might be worth doing is attacking the one at the back, which might push this one to the left, and then I can attack that one with those guys. Either that or just kind of like walk through with one. Like that could be a good start. Uh, they kind of left us a big gap, which means I may as well just destroy the uh, 3rd Battalion of the 17th. I think attacking the 3rd Battalion of the 17th is a good idea. I'm going to go in with these guys like so. Bring in this in phase B maybe. Tactical battle. In we go. So they got reinforced by both of those units. If we let it get to phase B, we disorganize the one on the right. The one behind uh, will just be uh, left there, I guess. 
Okay. Well, here we are. Uh, we actually have more points than they do in phase A, technically. So, should be able to make uh, a decent push here. My Kivani are okay. This is a tough, tough map. They are relying mostly on machine guns. So if I can get into the trees, then maybe we can succeed from there. We also do, of course, have the artillery, which I should probably start with some. Uh, that will help us out quite a bit against any MGs that are dug in. I'm just going to spread a few of those out, and then we'll make our pushes. So let's grab Kivari, of course. I'm going to have one of them go up there, and then the rest can head down to the town. I'm not sure if they're going to make it into the town. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Have a bunch of them move up onto the hill. Uh, a bunch of them move up onto here. Well, they are going to have uh, AT guns, I believe, so I'm actually going to have to probably unload early. Or, better than that, it might just be worth walking. Especially against these areas where there's definitely going to be AT up there somewhere. Well, maybe. We'll see. If I can move up through light cover here, that would be the best way. Could do like a Lati. I wonder if they're going to come at us with any vehicles. They do. Having those AT rifles is probably a good idea. On this side, having the Kivari spread out. Actually, these don't need to be outside of their transports because there's not anything that's going to be able to shoot us in line of sight. Uh, these ones can be out of their transports, though. Okay, let's launch the battle. See how we got on. The last squads are okay for now. They're not sending anything towards us. I'm just going to unload these here. There are a few vehicles hanging about, but yeah, they're not coming at us. These are actually getting surprisingly far. Unload these. Oof. That's close. Oh, unload these. Loads of AT guns. Damn. Well, the Kivari certainly <laughs> melted those. Uh, I need some infantry, like, probably recon infantry is actually a good shout if I spread out some recon infantry here. Because I need to be able to spot these. I really do. I can certainly hit that with an artillery piece, maybe. Uh, let's just do this. Uh, actually, no, never mind. <laughs> Maxim, <laughs> gotta kill that first. Let's uh, smoke that off. Do a runner. Alright, we're not doing too bad here, actually. My artillery firing soon. Without corrected shot, it does take these big guns a while to fire. It really does. We'll fire off a couple shots, and then we'll go from there. Well, maybe I can take that out? No. That's going to be a Maxim. Maxim there. 
We are in range to attack that one, though. I should be in range of my rifles as well. Would be really good, because that should do plenty of damage. Oh, I thought I'd managed to get the snipes there, but apparently not. That's sad. Uh, let's see about getting an AT up there. I'm going to need some Pianeri. And I have no idea where those went. <laughs> okay, so unload those down here. Evus have found the PTRS. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and smash that Maxim. Wheel artillery over here. And the right side's completely ours already. Good. Let's keep pushing up. Okay, so now I'm pushing here. Very good. I think we lose that unit. Maybe. Yeah, that sucks. I could have tried to move them away, but they wouldn't have run in time. And probably would have just died anyway. Take more damage on the move, so I was just hoping maybe that I could survive with like one man. That was not the case. Those artillery pieces are really doing a good job. Ooh, okay. Ah, uh, these should be pushing up. Completely forgot about them, apparently. Uh, I guess one nice thing about these Pioneer squads is they only have rifles. So they're actually relatively good when they can engage. They can put down a, a decent chunk of DPS. Just this rifle isn't very good, which is a shame. Okay. Might be quite a good idea to get some, like a leader with those guys. Uh, let's move these forwards. They can help engage the Maxim there. Where's that coming from? Destroy that with my artillery. Could bring in more artillery as well. Take a little while for them to get in position though. I think what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna try and get more reinforcements up to help us out. Well, that's the commander. Frontline is crumbling pretty fast. We are going to get into phase B, so that is going to disorganize the second unit. They're using a lot of these PTRS squads, so I've got to be a bit careful about my transports. Then the 
We're 20 to 4 now. Well, Pianeri died. Not good. Alright, let's have the Kivari continue that engagement. Keep all of these pushing up. I lost one unit there to a PTRS. Unfortunate. Great. With, with a total victory, it's over in 1 minute and 30 seconds, which is perfect timing. Because it's going to be phase B for like 20 seconds, and then we disorganize the unit that reinforces in phase B as well. These poor men. Run! Imagine well, trying to run with that AT rifle. Must be heavy. He's he's a, he's lasting surprisingly long. Oh, well, there he goes. <laughs> This shows how bad these DP machine guns can be sometimes. Alright, brilliant. Total victory. Oh, I think I won too soon because I took all the flags. Oops. 9 minutes 46 seconds. Uh, 3 kills. Uh, well, 48 kills, 3 losses. We lost uh, Kivos, Pioneeri, and Kivari. Okay, it wasn't so bad. Uh, I won a bit too soon there, though, uh, like I said, uh, which is not good. Destroyed the unit entirely, though. And this unit's still able to be hit, so that's perfect. Right, let's just move through here. And I'm going to try and get to the edge of the map ASAP. I mean, this campaign might actually be pretty fast if we can break through like we are. Like, that's ridiculous. We're going to have to do like a similar attack again, I think. Just to make sure that I'm destroying these units. I'm just going to bring those in phase B as well. Like I might as well. Uh, so let's uh, tactical battle. And we'll jump on in. It's going to be a bit of a slow battle to start because we don't really have that many forces. Uh, there's not much to work with in phase A. They're not going to have much either. And we are on the other side now. Okay, I think this is... Well, actually, it's uh, not even Breakthrough, it's uh, Conquest. That's really good. Yeah, that's perfect. That makes things actually easier for us. Right, so I'm going to want to bring in the Lati squads now, for sure. So we'll meet them halfway and hopefully I can snipe some transports. They'll probably be doing the same because they have a lot of those PTRS squads. We saw that like a lot of them before. But yeah, we're going to want to try and pop as many as we can. Givaldi squads can get the better of the maximum squads at close range. So we'll continue to push through the trees like we did before as well. If I lose Lati squads in these aggressive plays, then it's not a big deal. I don't want to make sure that I have everything backed up. Okay, that's a relatively even spread. I'm going to put another couple on the left. We'll bring in leaders probably after the start.
Okay, let's launch. Off we go. I'm going to have to pay attention for sure and slow down the game when we get the Lati squads to the front line because I'm going to have to unload in range. The PTRS squads do come in in very tra fast transports, so we're going to have to make sure that we are faster than they are. I'm just unloading those as close as I can so that I can dump my rifle DPS onto them. All of those units coming in behind are going to be extra key units, I would assume. Let's get a Kivos up here. We need another one there with a Pioneeri as well. We'll do that. Visivod already pinned down. That's good. Let's just kind of run onto them. Once again, going to want to get the smoke down. Bring in some more elite infantry on this right hand side. Good, getting a lot of damage done here. the maxim dead. Go for the flag. Those two are going to push through here and hopefully destroy anything in the trees. Uh, this one's going to unload, spot anything ahead of us and give us a target. I think we... But let's get Mokavari into the church there. We can probably engage the maxim. Oh, and we spotted that unit. Let's kill those. I'll move the Lati squad in. Oh, that one got killed by Kanaya Rezutka. Good. This Kanaya is actually going to be pretty hard to kill at close range. They have uh, two submachine guns as well. I think they're going to be slightly better. We can probably kill the artillerist and then the Kanaya afterwards. Could be okay. Might be alright. Kivali died there, looks like to a grenade. It's fine. If it's like Sapere, we lose to them at close range, then there's not really much I can do about that anyway. Get that unloaded and move to the center there. Good. Nice, Maxim's dead. Uh, this one needs to stay in cover. Okay. Maxim there should be dead 
pretty soon. Has a 50 mil mortar, so that's what we're gonna have to deal with. Gonna bring in a bunch more stuff. The engagement should be okay. They do have more rifles than us, though. The heavy cover, I hope, will make the difference. I definitely need more infantry here. Yeah. Okay, get this uh, Lati squad to move up. I need to make sure that I kill that 50 mil more before it pins me down. Get, get ugly otherwise. Well, ugly it is. Get the light into into cover. Kivari can move over to help the others. Kivari there. That one got killed by an 80 mil mortar. We'll move over and destroy that in a second. Uh, might as well just come down here and shoot that. We are losing a few units here and there, but it is technically like a almost like a one v one, like one to one ratio. So this is not as easy as the last one because the last one we completely outnumbered them. Uh, I definitely don't want to lose stuff for free though. Like I did there against that AT gun. We can avoid that. I lost the unit here as well. Sucks. Thankfully it was just a PNL, not a Kavos. The Kavos die, that sucks. Another unit there dead to the Sapere. It's not good. Ah, that one I'll have full back. The Kivari at close range should be able to get the job done. DP Grupa dead. Oh yeah, I forgot they were using DP Grupa in these. Uh, you don't actually get like Straki squads. I'm going to have to stay on that flag though. Uh, there is something here. Submachine guns in range makes it easy. Total victory in one minute and fifteen seconds. Might be faster than that. I guess either way, like the outcome would have been the same, it's just I wouldn't have had to play out this battle if I'd played out this, the other battle better. But I do kind of like these these sort of infantry battles where the micro is actually quite important. Because if I don't micro very well in these kinds of battles, then you lose a lot of men. Like, you can lose a lot of men and, you know, these battles aren't necessarily that easy.
you can very easily slip a couple objectives and then all of a sudden like you you're back in the crap <laughs> like for example here i've lost control of that objective all of a sudden and here you know kivari getting killed by 50 mil mortar not paying attention things don't go your way but that is a total victory i believe yeah 10 minutes 52 seconds nine kills for the enemy this time that's okay uh those 50 mil mortars are surprisingly good surprisingly good i guess i do have the uh extra range like the 800 meter range we lost uh skivali there another unit destroyed cool so that puts this unit like in between the rest of my units they might end up cutting off this one which would be unfortunate because i've already made the ground there but I can just move up behind it and probably reconnect it next turn anyway. Uh, let's move up the AA. That's going to be important because if they attack us and then they have like uh, like support, I guess that could be annoying. Um, so we'll move up a little bit more there. This unit can just run all the way down. Great. Now it's time to move on to the next turn, I believe. Yeah, nothing else to do. Let's do it. And we're under attack. The third brigade gonna be hit pretty hard here by the 1191st Rifle Regiment, 45th Guards Rifle Division, and the 372nd Rifle Division. Phase B reinforcements could include some SU 76s. I think this one has some anyway. But no tanks, no big tanks. I mean, we, there's a phase C unit, of course. But if they bring in a phase C unit, I think I'm pretty sure they lose. I'm going to bring in the 4th Battalion of the 3rd Brigade and the artillery. Actually, maybe I should bring in fighters. I'm going to bring in the fighters. I kind of believe that they might bring in their aircraft for this attack because it's kind of on the edge of the AA and I think this is one attack that they're going to make where they can actually bring in their air force. So I should probably cover it with fighters. We've got plenty of infantry on the ground for the rest of the stuff. Tactical battle, jump on in. I think they did bring an aircraft. Have a look. So yeah, the fighter regiment. Actually, no, that's my fight regiment. Sorry, the 566th assault regiment. There it is. So they brought in the 45th Guards Rifle Division, the 2nd Guards Mortar Brigade, and the 566th assault regiment. The mortar brigade, I believe, is actually either Katrushas or Andrushas, which is really annoying. But with the amount of aircraft we have. I should be able to strafe them to death. Saying that, do I have anything really big enough to do that? These bombers will work. It's got 13 mil. The G6R6 is actually, they have enough. They have enough. That's good. We can use G6R6s. I and mean, we can use the bombers. Probably worth using most of those bombers from the start. If I bring out... I don't know if I want to use a gladiator or not. I feel like these aircraft are going to get shot down. They're going to try and shoot me down with um, the IL-2s, I think. I'm going to buy all of those. And I'm going to buy these. And the rest we're going to put into infantry. And we'll play it kind of easy to begin with. Not too crazy. And go from there. Yeah, should be okay. So I'll bring in some machine guns. These are going to be pretty important. I'm also going to want to bring in AT guns. If I have any, I have one. 
deploy that in the back garden. Uh, I'll make sure that my MG is in, that, in the same place. I'm also going to want a recon unit, of course. Let's unload that in the open for now. Just going to get like a Lati squad. Two. Apo Kevari. Gonna do the same here, which we'll get all of those Kivari with the leader. These can go relatively aggressive. But we'll have a Lati squad or two, maybe go ahead of them. We can do the same up here. This is perfect engagement range for Kivari, so we'll try and make use of that. Probably move those two onto this road. Okay, and a couple more machine guns up there will be good. And that's it. I guess I could put an AT gun on the main road. I do have one on my second unit. Alright, let's launch the battle there. And off we go. Let's get the AA or the aircraft out. See what you find. Then I'll bomb any Androshes there are. Shoot down any IL-2s. Uh, we're not going to want to head on that. I think it's just going to kill my G-50. Although maybe it's... Oh, it's not even fighting my G-50. Okay, never mind. Good. I'm surprised we can't really see what there is. Gonna have to strafe these tanks. Oh, by the way, I might have mentioned previously that uh, aircraft can no longer strafe, but that has actually been fixed, so that's good. I'm going to want to stop this IL-2 from doing too much damage, though. As long as I can make it fall back, that's all I need, really. Right, how are we doing? Move for is these Kivali. Oh, that's a unit I need to kill. That's a lot of douchekas. <laughs> Goodbye, G50. Nice knowing you. That's a lot of douchekas. Alright, I'm gonna bomb that. And I'm gonna need more AT. Like, this is kind of ridiculous. I don't know if I should use all of those. That's a bit, a bit of a waste, really. Two will do the trick. A lot of stuff coming in. It's kind of crazy. 
Hoping to be a bit more chill than this, but nope. Right, we'll have to have these move up in the across the open. Because <laughs> well, this really isn't working at the moment. A lot of my Kivari are dying. It's maybe okay here. We're making a decent chunk of ground, but I don't really have AT guns, so we're kind of having to like ambush armored units, and all those Dushka trucks are a bit of a problem. Even if this is an even uh, defense, we will have done a lot of damage to their air force. So there is that. Bit of a consolation prize though, so ideally I don't want it to end like that. Alright, let's just have those run. Hopefully my Kiveri can help out, or we're going to want to stay away from the Dushkas again. So many Dushkas. Start killing some of them as they come up. I actually get the better of this one, if it misses too much. Once all the Dushka trucks are actually killed, that makes things a lot easier for us. Just gonna use bodies here. We don't have that much more left, so I do have to be relatively careful with my infantry. Lost another unit there, but that's okay, we managed to kill off the rest of them at least. Oh wow, that actually has shot on there. That's not good. It's dead. I'm gonna push up that right hand side. Uh, let me just jump up these Kivari. We can kill a dish girl too, probably. And on the left. Probably a good idea to just bomb these. I was thinking that I might need to target the Andrushas, but we haven't seen many of them fire yet. There's one on the right there. Did we lost a G6R6, didn't we? Yeah, that's not good. Get a couple of these Brewsters out, make them do something. Like if that he actually eventually died to the Dushka trucks. Not good. I have no idea how good these Brewsters are at strafing. I don't think they're very good at all. Uh, 
I just need to strafe those enough that they uh, leave, basically. Okay, well, they managed to strafe that one to death, so... I had already been hit quite a lot by machine gun fire, though. What I need here is just a couple of Vati squads. Uh, maybe the Light Oyunta's not a bad idea. Both of those dying, not good. Not good at all. And Givari getting hit by Avtos, that's not good either. Let's not pen them up there. I'll allow the Kivari to go first. Been quite the battle. I mean, I think I've messed up a little bit so far, especially losing a couple of the aircraft to the Dushkas, but I guess I'm just so not used to fighting against Dushkas. There's really no way. Uh, we can bring in the Pioneeri here. Move back that uh, Lati. That's not good. Well, let's just push through the rest of those. Should be able to take that flag. Maybe I can push across the open. I've never been so wrecked. By Dushka trucks in my life. <laughs> this, is, this is like borderline embarrassing. <laughs> How much damage these are doing. You can tell by my nervous laugh. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's keep pushing now. I think I should have enough points to just overwhelm the rest. Let me get these Brewsters to help take out that 120. And the G2's doing their job there. Come on Brewsters, get him. The Brewster wing. <laughs> How much fire was required there? <laughs> okay. Take that out. I'm gonna need to probably bomb that. Well, shoot that down. 
Strafe that, strafe that, strafe that, strafe those guys. I think the supply truck blowing up actually killed the SC-76. Okay, and uh, with all that done, let's just go ahead and win with a total victory. <laughs> Anytime a plane comes in at the moment, it's just going to get annihilated. That is ridiculous. Oh, that unit's not dead. That's not good. I should be dead. That did okay. I think one of my planes just got shot down, maybe. Unless that was an enemy plane. Oh, poor Kivani. Gotta keep those bombers alive, they're pretty important. We've done a lot of damage here. We're currently on a major victory. I'm gonna unload these. We can bomb that again. Get some Brewsters to just annihilate it afterwards as well. The other thing I do need is uh, just more recon at this point. Lost another MG there. That actually got hearted. Okay. Yeah, if I can get a couple of recon aircraft to get to the back side of the map, we can probably uh, start just targeting and killing off these SC-76s. I don't know how many of them we need to kill an SU-76, but we can keep strafing it till it dies. Go on, Brewster crew. It's like, we're going around for another pass. <laughs> Follow me in, Brewster crew. <laughs> Probably kill the 122 doing that. Yeah, the gladiators actually shot down the IL-2 there. That's pretty awesome. Nice, we got that before the game ended. Sort of victory. 17 minutes, 43 seconds. 221 kills. 38 losses. It was a bit rough for my infantry there. <laughs> a lot of Givani died. Uh, the Dushka trucks really made it hard for me to push initially because I didn't really have enough AT guns to 
or, or the line of sight for the AT guns to kill them effectively. So that kind of made things a bit more difficult. But we got a lot of kills onto their aircraft, like a lot of IL-2s went down, so that was really, really good. Perfect time to bring in the fighters. I don't think we really lost much to the IL-2s, it was just like a, a couple things, really. But yeah, lots of Kivali dead, uh, the G50 and the ME109 G6R6, which is, uh, I would say, a pretty bad loss to the G6R6, because it's one of the nice strafing aircraft. Okay, where are we getting attacked next? This is on a breakthrough. Well, uh, this is going to be one for next time because unfortunately it has been my time. But yeah, next time around we'll have a breakthrough defense against the 450th Rifle Regiment and probably the 119th Rifle Regiment with artillery support. They bring in these guys, the Andrushas. It's going to be a pretty tough battle actually. Uh, maybe it's a good idea for, maybe for me to bring in the like the gladiators or something. Yeah, these would actually not be a bad idea. Yeah, we could bring in the recon squadron, like the aircraft, to pack that up. That would allow me to get eyes on those androsters and kill them uh, with artillery. All right, yeah, that sounds like a plan, but for next time. That's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.